Welcome to January 5th, the second work day of the week that we shall call a Monday. And that means, brethren, it's time to get over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and wisdom comes from above. Day 5 of the year 2008. Well, brethren, let's grab your Bibles so that you can open up and read chapter and verse with me. Write these verses down so that you can study them at your own leisure and study the whole context. Okay, let's open up to Psalm chapter 141 and verse 3. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the doors of my lips. Now let's take a look over in Psalms, chapter 130 and verse 3. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Iniquities here means someone who is against the law or the lawless. Okay, let's turn over to Psalms 106 and verse 33. They provoked his spirit, so he spake unadvisedly with his lips. Brethren, whenever you can read these, take them into heart. Now let's turn to Matthew chapter 15 and verse 11. Not that which is going into the mouth is defiling a man, but that which com is coming out of the mouth, this is defiling a man. Brethren, you've heard me say many times, every time you see the ETH, put an ING in its place, put an IS before the word, and that brings the verse, the thought, right up to the present time. Now let's turn over to Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 28. Brethren, when you read Proverbs, each verse has a good and bad side. Study it and fit one you want. A whisper is separating chief friends. Now let's turn to Proverbs chapter 12 and verses 18 through 19. There is that is speaking like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is hell. The lips of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Now let's read James chapter 3 verses 8 and 10. The tongue can no man tame. It is unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Out of the same mouth is proceeding blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Now let's go over to Colossians chapter 3 verses 8 through 9. Put off anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, Filthy communications out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. Now let's read First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. This is the will of God, even your sanctification. Now turn over to Revelation chapter 14 and verse 5. In their mouth, was found no guile. Wisdom comes from above. God who formed all things. God is holy. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 20. Those who are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the Lord, but such are blameless in the ways of his delight. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 32. For a perverse person is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret counsel is with the upright. That's the Lord's secret counsel, by the way. 
Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 through 19. These six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who looks speaketh lies, and on whose sorrow discord among brethren. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 5. Every one who is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though they join forces, none will go unpunished. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 22. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal truthfully are his delight. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 23, and a false balance is not good. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Psalms Chapter 19 and verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Holy Father, thou hast given. Psalms chapter 119, verses 130. The entrance of thy words is given knowledge. Brethren, do you want to be given this knowledge? Do you want to follow the tradition of men? You say no. But if you're following Sunday as the Lord's Day, if you're following Easter, are you following Christmas? Are you following the uh, Pagan's New Year? Then you're following the tradition of men. You say, that doesn't sound bad. We're doing it with all these people. They can't be wrong. Check with the Lord and see who is right and wrong. Because in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13, he says only a few will find the way. Not all of these people. Brethren, do you want to change and follow the Lord? Get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and His Son for forgiveness. And if you truly want to do that in your heart, they will hear you. Well, brethren, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you.